Mobile World Congress officially kicks off next Monday, but you'd think it was in full swing already, judging by the number of new phone leaks spilling out of Barcelona. Happy Friday, it's February 23rd, and the latest revelation from the big mobile tech show that hasn't actually started includes two new Android phones from Sony, who is looking to get back in the mobile game. BGR says serial leaker Evan Blass posted up details about the new Sony Xperia XZ2 phones. Both phones, there's a 5-inch compact model and a 5.7-inch regular or big version, will be powered by the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chip and run Android 8. Both will shoot 4K HDR video, super slow-mo full HD video, and 19 megapixel stills. The larger of the two will also have wireless charging. Sony is embracing the latest minimal bezels trend by using minimal bezels, and the phones use something called 3D glass over an aluminum frame. Looks good to us. Blast says the phones will come in four colors, basic black, of course, but also silver, green, and pink. Because, hey, it's Sony. Hit the link for more details. The recent launch of the Falcon Heavy by Elon Musk's SpaceX and the successful deployment of his Red Roadster still have spaceflight fans buzzing. And now NASA is taking their turn in the spotlight with the test firing of an engine for their big space launch system rocket. Better known as the SLS, the Space Launch System is set to be NASA's big bird for moving heavy cargo beyond Earth orbit, as in the Moon and Mars. But it's been a bit overshadowed by Musk's big Falcon Heavy. Nonetheless, NASA recently lit the fuse on the RS-25 booster and powered it up to 113% of maximum thrust for just short of one minute. That's what we love about NASA, always giving 110% or more. When an actual SLS rocket system will actually launch into space is still unknown. NASA says maybe in 2019, but when it does, it should be quite a show, as it will be even more powerful than Musk's Falcon Heavy, and even be able to lift more than the legendary Saturn V system that took astronauts to the moon 50 years ago. The RS-25 motors are a modified version of the motors on the old space shuttle fleet, so they're considered highly reliable. Still gotta test them. NASA says the SLS will feature four of the RS-25 engines and will generate 2 million pounds of thrust at full power, with additional side-mounted boosters bumping that up to 8 million pounds. But one big difference from the SpaceX rockets, these big boys don't fly back home to land, making launches expensive. Hit the link for the full video. Google is bringing AR to the masses with the public release of AR Core, its augmented reality code that's been in beta for a while now. The search and tech giant is also making their Lens visual search tool part of the Google Photos app on smartphones as well. Both features should update and activate today without Android users having to do much of anything, but you'll need to make sure Android Oreo is fully up to date, and it will only work on certain phones for now. Those handsets include all Google Pixel phones, top-level Samsung phones, LG's V30 models, the Asus Zenfone AR, and the OnePlus 5. As you can imagine, the update will be rolling out to many more phones in the near future. AR Core is similar to Apple AR Kit, and with a public release, developers should start churning out fun VR apps and such shortly. Get ready to check out how that couch looks in your room, or take a spin in Porsche's Mission E concept car. Fun stuff. Hit the link for more details on AR Core, Google Lens, and of course, for all the rest of the day's news, head to digitaltrends.com. Check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Be sure to tune in live at 2 p.m. Pacific today for Between the Streams, our entertainment podcast where we'll talk about the latest developments in movies and television. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.